Hi, I'm Mrs. Sproul. Today we're going to look at jumping. We're going to break down the skill and then we're going to give you some tasks that you can do with jumping to record and send back in. When jumping, we're going to look at a few key areas. One is going to be, we're going to want uh, your feet to be about hip distance, shoulder width apart. Um, and then you're going to want to have a little bit of flexion in the ankle, in the knee, and in the hip. Okay, another one we're going to look at is you can be using your arms. Swing your arms to help you propel yourself further. And then when you're jumping, we want to see a nice controlled takeoff and a nice controlled landing. So something like this. The first task is a standing long jump to see how far you can jump. Try it first using the technique discussed previously on your own. Hey Francis, did you know that a snow leopard can jump 50 feet? See how many times it takes you to jump 50 feet. Now we've marked the floor, you can go ahead Francis. We've already marked the floor off with our 50 feet. Um, if you don't have a measuring tape, you can always step it out and make it kind of approximate to see how many jumps it takes you to get to 50 feet. Notice she's got nice continuous jumps and an extra one there. The second task is a vertical jump to see how high you can jump. Try it on your own using the pointers from earlier. Hey Francis, did you know that a cougar can jump 20 feet high? Using a piece of tape each time, measure how many times you have to jump to get higher than a cougar. Now we've measured Francis's jump. Um, it was about seven and a half feet Francis would keep jumping until she gets to the height of about 20 feet, which is the height of a cougar. If you don't have a measuring tape again, that's okay. You can always use your hands to try to measure or make it kind of approximate. The idea is that we're able to see your jump and see your vertical jump.